Hi, my viewers and my friends and my subscribers. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yes, this year the life we changed. Um, we have so much to talk about. But before we get into that, what are you having for your breakfast? Now I get a fruit basket. Look at this. This is my. I haven't ate this in a while. Do you know what this is? If you know what it is, you leave it for me. Let me see if you know what that is. If you know what this one is, I want you to put it in the comments. What this one is? I want you to put it in the comments. Then I'll know if you know it. Right? Then this one. Do you know this one? If you know this one, drop a comment. I know you know this one. I know you know this one. But I bet I bet you don't know this one. This one don't only tell me it's apple, but it have another something to the apple. So you need to tell me what it is to the apple, right? Tell me where this one is. I would have get a little ink, but I don't want you to get it so quick. Write it in the comments. I know you know that. Green grapes. And right banana. And I had pineapple too. I had the pineapple. Let me. I had I hit, I hit the pineapple already. Um, so all of these going to be my breakfast when I'm true. I'm going to get a I get a fruit basket, and I'm going to have a feast for my breakfast with fruit. So yes, but what we want to talk about, my my viewers, and let us be honest. Let us be honest, if you look down below, you see me put up some videos about SSL. SSL, you know, sometimes I don't remember what the SSL mean in the curry card. I think the other day I did a video and I said it wrong. It mean Stocks and Security Limited. SSL means Stocks and Security Limited. Yes, that's what it meant. And... They came out, Mr. Nigel Clark, in his own words, came out and says, um, about 15 million will be taken from taxpayers' money to pay the employee with the ongoing investigation that is going on at the SSL. And a lot of Jamaicans come, man, it's all over. I think you may see them. Most people are saying, this is so wrong. This is so wrong. My viewers, I mean, no when they see that people, you know, you know that we can get government to do the right thing as a people. Mm -hmm. I realize if more of us put our voices together, because with the amount of people come out and see it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, not even to imagine TikTok. YouTube, everybody was so upset. I was one of them too. Because I was looking into it and I was saying, how oh, could a private firm run that was operating and the government now are going to pay the employees? Do you want to tell me there was no money at all in any account for, for this place? But anyway, that is not my contentions now. Because they came out now and they changed the story. You know, these people really take people for either. No, so it is said here, Nigel Clark, money seized from criminal will now fund SSL probe. No, how can you trust a government? And I don't care who it is. We other people must learn to look into things and stop making these people take us turn winner idiot. How could you at one stage come out and said it's taxpayers' money? I know you are coming out to say, well, it's money that was seized from criminal. Any how you want to take it, or the government to pay for it. Because the money that is seized from government actually go into should go into a fund and that fund should be for something. So it's still money you are fine for pay. And no matter what no one get around it. And you can leave your views and your comment on this, what you think. It no matter where you want to say, again, it no make no sense. So let me read this for you. The government will use money taken from convicted criminal 
over the years to cover expenses associated with the ongoing fraud probe at investment firm Stock and Security Limited. That's according to a statement from the Finance Ministry. Social media has been flooded with video. That was just telling you. Showing hunger. Jamaican blasting the oldness administration for using taxpayers' money to cover costs associated with the multi-million dollar fraud investigation underway at SSL. And Thursday, Dr. Nigel Clark said that not one dollar of taxpayers' money will be spent to cover the related costs at SSL and fraud at the investigation. But that was not what Mr. Nigel Clark initially came out and said in the beginning. And that is what caused the big, the, the, the whole thing. Then the Prime Minister actually came out and gave a clarity. And I want you to look at that video below also. That the reason why they have to pay, and he never said anything about this, but because they see that the Jamaican people are really, really upset about this. Now they change the story. You see, my viewers and my subscriber, when we have people like these leading a country, it's not healthy for the growth of the country. Sometimes, sometimes I ignore some of the things I see or hear them saying because I just know it is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. So sometimes we just ignore some things. But these are these matters are of concern for a government to be just flip-flopping, flip-flopping, flip-flopping. This minute they come when they say people raise up, they say all kind of things. It's like when they raise up and get 300% wages. Then they came out and the Prime Minister said, well, all right. The opposition said, I'm going to give us some of him. Then the Prime Minister come and say, him now go bother take none. And I know you don't know how we process work. And they just kind of like, they just want to use them brain. You know, you know, they're not really serious. That's not governance. That's not good governance. You came out and you told us as the Jamaican people that it was taxpayers' money to pay this place. Now, you show you another lie in you know, this whole SSL thing. At first, when it, when, when it come out that a bull, bull met this come to the surface, they said that they were getting FBI's to come down here to investigate. It wasn't that no employee I was still be there to be keeping computers up and running. Now, you can't use the same criminal them to, um, to be a part of investigation. Then if them in there with computer and something, them they can't do what them can. You, you, you see the whole thing? That is so, it's so, it just won't fade out and you never hear nothing about it. You know? And it is so sad that we cannot, we as a people, sit back and just allow all these things to happen. It's what we accept. It's just like in a relationship and every day a man get up a beat, you know? And you just sit down in it because you say, I love a man, I love a man, and you can't leave a man. Until at the end of the day, you stay there, broke down yourself, you have high blood pressure, your cholesterol gone up, you till you hear say so you have heart problem, till you hear say so you have kidney failure, till you hear say so oh Lord God, they're diagnosed with type 3 diabetes or type 2, and then you hear say so you have stage 3 cancer. You know, say all them stress or something where you got you end up break down your, your immune system, and when the immune system is broken down, all kind of ailments come out of the body because your body can't ward off nothing. You get what I'm saying to you? So, I am disappointed. I am disappointed in all of this. You're not getting... And here he's saying, see it here? I'm just reading it, showing you. See here, Mr. Nigel Clark said it. He just said, Nigel Clark, three billion in clients fund remain in SSL. Then if we don't have money, that's what me trying to say, my, my, my viewer. If money is there, why not take money from there to use in it and, and have that record there? There must be something because all of these people are in it. You need to, what they need to do is to seize all their assets. And you see how long it will take? These people are going to dispose of their asset. And we are sorry for those who some may never get back their money. 
but it's a sad state of affair my viewers and my subscribers you can leave your views and your comment and we can have a dialogue on it if you see what i'm saying that make any sense you know but i am so disappointed i am so disappointed in the this present government and the way it's a lot of things i see them angling out of proportion you know a lot of things i could come here and speak about but sometimes when you speak like this as i said in one of my videos people just say you're politically motivated and because you're pmp or because you're jlp they can't say truth for truth and when we have a nation who cannot see the truth for the truth you know that we are in problem i see them say crime i go down i mean no minute see it i go down in a mindset every day some something may i read them the, the teachers are leaving in droves and you hear that oh we will fill the capacity with the six farms through then and all as if it is nothing that they are leaving it's a problem having our educators leaving the country six farmers some of them are in a six farm still and know nothing you know they're still learning that's why they stay on for another year to get more education Oh boy, oh boy, my viewers and my subscribers, it is just, it is just so sad what is happening, but you can leave your views, leave your comment, and we can have a dialogue on this situation, so I'm out of here and I'll see you in another video, alright? Walk good and take care of yourself.